Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Dawn here. So today I'm with you. I thought we would come on and do some quick, uh, just a quick card. I actually, well, I might even be able to make it a couple. Um, just using the Clever Prints release. So we have the dies, which I will be using because I have some bits left over from the last project. Um, but we're going to use be using Fly High, um, which we have already used. But there's a Fly High Curly Blooms, blooming and as you are, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous as Sam said. Um, and die sets to use I've had so much fun um, really really have I love every single minute of it so yeah um, I was only, only going to do um, five videos but yeah really wanted to come on and do some more so that's why I'm here um, so yeah it just I just love them so I just have a card base here um, and it's just a white 5 by 7 card base that came from um, yeah I think probably the range or um or boys or anywhere like that because i do buy pre um pre ones pre-made ones that come with the envelopes so um i have this scrap of lace it's from when i made some boxes so i am um, i made these decorative boxes so it's from the leftover from that and instead of wasting um we're getting used so um actually let's just do two cards because <clears throat> i think we should have well we've definitely got enough to do um two cards so let's see what we can do um so they're gonna go on there just for yeah just for texture really nothing other than that um i will glue these down and then i have these that are already pre um cut up and they oh look at that one and they're already cut up and they already have been colored in so um yeah right i'm gonna use my um hot glue gun for this um but yeah it's super hot so um if you are using a glue gun please do be careful mine is smoking because it's that hot is it meant to smoke <laughs> i don't know but yeah it is like i said it's super 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 hot so i need to get um a spatula thingy for it i think um but yeah it can be very dangerous um so do be careful okay so I've just roughly glued them down like so. I think that's a bit, but it's too late now. Um, I think I want this one actually. And then what I'm going to do, I have lots of like glitter leaves and all sorts in here from the die set. Um, and I thought these would look. So I might do the satin leaves with this one. So like so. Um... So we have them out and I should have one more you do like oh I mean how nice is that that just looks fab and then on this one we've got all of these um we've got all the glitter stuff so I'm wondering whether to do the glitter on this one like I said I just wanted to use oh there we go oh how lovely is that that is absolutely gorgeous and do you know what i've still got some flowers that flower goes perfectly there oh i think they look fabulous so let's just do that like i said i wasn't i just um i wasn't gonna come on and do these um i just sort of i'm just putting some glue on okay like so just so that they stick where they are and then that can just be stuck down like so and then i think once that has cooled and it is safe to touch again <laughs> i might come around and do some ink blending on that because i think that would look really nice either ink blending or how about some really bright vibrant pink splashes but yeah we'll do something and i think oh this is just gorgeous so i'm just going to lift this up um and we sort of know whereabouts they want to be. So I'm going to do the same. Um, and just glue over the top of all of them. Okay. So like so. And then position that so that everything is as it seems. I just want to push them in a little bit further. I love that. Oh don't be popping out yeah i 
really like that and then that one let's push you back in now love that and then we have this flower as well which i just want in the center of this one because i think that works really really nicely how gorgeous is that oh my goodness me look at the two cards so different but so beautiful so i do have this one left um oh i do have a six by six card base as well so can we do something now i know i haven't got much left um but can we do something with it now i can do use um oh i've got two of bits of greenery so that's quite cool um maybe something like so just something a little different oh glue strings oh we've got these bits of greenery as well which can go on here oh yes they can go on there like that um i need another glue stick okay so it's gonna pop a little dollop on there and then I'm just going to stick it under this bit. And then I'm going to do the same with this one. But there's already glue there. So, yeah, that works. Okay. Right, I really like that. So I'm just blowing those glue strings off. Yeah, I love that. So I'm thinking that can go there and then... Um, what about if we have, so I want to see how, like that could go in the middle, which is really nice, like we did with the other one. Yeah, I like that. Um, I think I'm just trying to add things on now for the sake of adding them on. And sometimes we need to just stop. So I think I'm liking that as we are. Um. yeah i don't think i want to change much to it i think i just want to leave it as is so i am going to now i'm going to regret this but oh right let's see if we can do that again but be very careful okay and that's going to go on there and then that bit is going to be stuck into the middle of there so um, and these bits I'm just going to pop into my bit box because I'm just going to be using them for the sake of using them. They're not adding anything um, special to the card at all. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just going to... Come on. Oh, I need to refill this. There we go. I'm just going to pop on this um, just so it's ready to be used in something else hmm. or I could pop it in the middle of there actually I quite like that do you know what let's do it because then we've done it to all three right okay so there we go right now what I'm going to do is let's grab some inks um I'm either going to do splashes I think one is splashes this one I'm going to do some ink blending around and then I'm going to raise that up um on some dimension and just keep it very simple so let's have a look i want a really nice bright vibrant color for oh i know what peacock feathers for the splashes on that one so that one's going to have splashes so let me just turn the glue gun off because i don't think we need it anymore so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put some on my mat with my water and just spray a little bit of water in she says add more and then grab my paintbrush let's move this and i'm just gonna get that and pop that there oh that is a very big splashes but yeah it's because i'm using a bigger brush but yeah, I think that's actually going to work quite nicely. It is. There it is. So let's leave that to dry. So I'm just going to move that to, off to one side. 
Now, we do have, we've got all of this ink left on there. So, oh, I know what I have. I've got some of the Dolly Dimples mixed media cardstock here. So why don't we do some smushing? So let's do some smushing. Um, I'm going to use all the different colours. Get rid of that bit of lace. Okay. I like that. Right, okay, so let's leave that to dry. And then with this one, um, I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending and just around the edges. And I'm thinking that I might go with... Um, I might do weathered wood, actually, which is a bit of a odd one, isn't it? Right, um, let's have a look. No, that's pale pink. Right, maybe this one. So, let's do weathered wood. So, I'm just going to bring that in, just around the edges, like so. Um, and this is just to give... Actually, I might just do these corners. So let's just colour up that as well. Yeah, I'm liking that. So like you say, a bit of a weird combination. However, I think that really works quite nicely. So I just want to bring that around just a little bit more. Yeah, like that. Oh, I like that. So what I'm going to do is just put a bit of that on there um, because we'll bring that in with our, um, yeah, our smushing. So I'm just going to put some water on. Okay. And then bring in our paper for smush, smush, smush. And then we're just going to go all the way around like so. Oh, I love that. Right. Now we're just going to leave that to dry. Um, and then I think I want a nice bright pink for, um, yeah, for some splashes. Oh, what about this? Pink peony. So let's do that. don't know if this is any good at doing splashes, but we can see. So it is an archival ink. Oh, it's waterproof, oh, it's waterproof so no, it's no good for doing splashes, but never mind. How did I think that that was going to be fine? Because, yeah, although I'm liking what was happening. I think it's more the dirty water, though, than anything else. But, yeah, I love how that looks, how subtle it is. So, really, really nice. Now, I do have some of these with loves left because um, I'm thinking that I want to use them. So, at the minute, it's all about, for me, it's just about using up these last little bits that I have. Um, yeah. And I'm just going to put that in there like that. Just so that it gives it a bit of colour. And then grab my glue. And we are just going to pop some glue on there. And actually I'm going to put down there. Just like that. So that is our... First card all done. How gorgeous is that? I have to admit, I think this one might be my favourite so far. It's so beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it, right? And then we have this one. So let's use this with love. Like I say, we have them already stamped. So we may as well use them. I'm just going to put that on an angle a little. Um, yeah. Do you know what? I'm just going to go over this. I'm going to put a little bit of peacock feathers on. Why not? Just a little bit. Yeah. And then we're going to glue that down. Um, and actually, yeah, I'm going to have it just coming out of there like that. So that is the second card. So that's that now let's grab this one so we are still um slightly wet so i'm just gonna reach in and grab my um heat tool so let's dry this off Like 
so okay so that is done um and then this which is what we've already done um i want to put that on up on some cardboard so um where did i put my cardboard guys um i have some sweeties so look at this cotton candy bubble gum um i bought a couple of them i bought an extra one i've had to try it it's so weird so so weird but really nice but yeah it's just sat there on my desk uh anyway that's not what you wanted to hear um what am i looking for guys give me a clue cardboard that's oh this do you know what i'm looking for cardboard and we've got absolutely loads in front so i want to cut this down um to about a six inch square just that and then about across there like that okay yeah so that'll fit on the back and that's this is going to keep it um from bowing so we're going to do that now is this uh, actually i just thought it'll need cutting down ever so slightly so let me just um i've just thought it's exactly the same size as the card base and i want it to be yeah so where's my trimmer i want this to be um five and a half inch squared so um yeah just so we've got that that white border okay so then that hopefully from cutting it down will so I'm not quite just need to cut off some more of this side and then we're good to go yeah right okay much much better so really pleased with that how gorgeous does that look I'm wondering whether do you know what I'm going to bring in this um pink one and I'm just going to go around that edge with it just because it's nice and bright and I really like it and why not yeah I like the hint of that that's really nice okay so I'm going to bring in my card base um, and that's just going to sit on there like that so let's glue that down okay And we're going to glue this onto the front like that. Nice, I love that. And then we're going to have that just like that. But we are going to raise this one up. So let me just get rid of all of these bits and pop them in the bin. Oh, look at that. I have one with love left. How cool is that? That is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to have it actually just there yeah right i'm going to glue this down already because i want to keep this one flat and i don't want to add any ink or anything to it because i think it stands out enough just as it is um now so let's get rid of these i can use that little bit so let's put that in my thing now we're just going to do some right i'm going to do some really thin bits like so and then just cut a couple in half and then i can pop these into my cardboard pot which is just over here just cut that down because otherwise it's going to keep falling down so yeah i always sort of have a little pot that i have um bits already cut up um but if i need bigger bits then but i always forget about it which is a bit silly so that one there um now let's go Ooh. try not to glue myself so i want there to be good sort of space in between everything if i can um yeah just see how we go okay so we want to make a really good coverage yeah i think my glue needs uh topping up 
Well, it feels like it needs topping up. So I'm just going to put a lot of glue over here. And then it's just a matter of having a look where we can put them. I'm not really that fussed about having them all on the, the ends. But yeah, as long as we've got a good coverage in the middle, we're okay to go. Right, my glue is running out. So this needs re-topping up, which I will have to do. Okay, right. And then we're just going to stick that on there like that. And I'm just going to hold it in place just for that glue to take. Um, and then I think we can safely say we're finished. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Right, let's put that in there so it doesn't clog. I mean, that just looks really, really nice. And then if we want to add, let's add a little bit of dimension to those leaves. There we go. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? How lovely would it be to give that out to somebody? So let's bring our cards back. So I'm just going to pop these scissors away. I don't even know why those scissors are out, to tell you the truth, because I don't really use them much anymore. Um, let's pop them in my little tub. Right, so let's grab these out. So these are the cards that we've made. I only planned on making one. <laughs> it's always the case, isn't it? You always end up making more than what you plan. Um, but I suppose when you're having fun, um, there's no there's no harm in it. So, so um, that is it for today, guys. Uh, there is links in the description box below. Do check that out to all the products that I have used. Um, but yeah, I mean, how beautiful have they turned out? They're just absolutely gorgeous. I think that one's my favourite. Um, definitely. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys decide which one is your favourite. But until next time, please do all take care. And yeah, happy crafting. Bye.